Three, two, one. What is up, party people? Today I'm bringing you another episode of T -t -t Tesla Tuesday. This is our 18th episode, and man, do we have some good autonomous driving news today. But first, I just have to show you this commercial that I saw yesterday while watching the men's college basketball championship game, and it's an electric car commercial, and I was so excited. Here it is. I know what you're thinking. Electric, it's not for you. And you're probably right. Electric just doesn't have enough range. It will never survive the winter. Everyone knows water and electricity don't mix. No more hanging out here either. Charging stations? Good luck finding one of those. Electric just can't keep up. So, maybe an electric car isn't for you after all. Or is it? Oh, how awesome was that commercial right there? I know it's not a Tesla commercial, but still, any electric car commercial, even though it's by Audi about the e-tron, it's still awesome singing about TV because electric cars are coming to the forefront. And also with electric cars, we have this whole autonomous self-driving future upon us. So it's like electric cars and self-driving and Tesla is doing both of them. And just to say that, just last week we were mentioning how Navigate on Autopilot can now switch lanes by itself without you verifying any lane changes on a highway. And there's a video of it going on right here in New York City, a urban dense, environment with a ton of traffic yet yeah, it's still switching lanes and that's the future right there and yes we just got another update on this whole full self-driving future because hardware 3.0 which is kind of going to be the last hardware change for teslas to get to this autonomous future is finally in development and what is hardware 3.0 is a whole brand new soc well, actual two SOCs, which are just processors that can handle so much more computational power. And you might be wondering how much more computational power can this two double SOC do? And the reason that it's two, it's because if one SOC makes any mistakes, especially with autopilot, you don't want it to do any mistakes. The other SOC is to back it up and kind of do double the computational power to kind of just do any like make sures or just check. So like the second one is just for like the checks and balances for the first one to avoid any mistakes. But just how much more computational power is this hardware three chip over this hardware 2.5 Tesla based NVIDIA chip? And the answer to that is a lot more powerful. And according to Elon Musk, this is just straight statistics from him on navigate on autopilot such as the one where you're just switching lanes by itself the hardware 2.5 chip is wasting about 80 percent computational power on just that processing power alone while this brand new hardware 3.0 chip is only spending five percent computational power on those same activities so what we could gather from that is is that the hardware 3.0 chip is about eight to four times better power more powerful than the hardware 2.5 chip and this is all going to be demoed to investors on april 19th and while i'd like to highlight that this brand new hardware 3.0 chip isn't necessary at the moment it's kind of just for some future proofing because right now the hardware 2.5 chip the nvidia based one could perfectly handle navigate on autopilot but when you start introducing some more tasks so more things for the software to pay attention to, such as traffic lights and intersections and way more activity for the cars beside it and even like cars going by, it's gonna have to handle a lot more and that's gonna be future-proofed when the software catches up with the hardware later this year. Just later this year, self-driving is coming true. That's insane, way faster than I originally thought. And if you're wondering how are you gonna know the difference in between this brand new hardware 3.0 and hardware 2.5, well, Elon Musk says that if you're buying a brand new Tesla, it's not gonna matter because if you purchase autopilot anyways, the mobile service ranger that Tesla has going around all over these cities could easily come to your house and just quickly switch out the hardware 2.5 chip 
to the hardware 3.0 chip if you bought autopilot so is the 3.0 chip going to be that special right now no but in a couple months later this year it's going to be very special to have it you're going to see me self-driving to work all the time yeah baby we're living in the future and the last headline that I want to mention with Autopilot is something that Elon might have said while smoking because he said that Autopilot in the near future will have the capability to swerve and miss any potholes in the road. You could probably take that with a grain of salt, but still, if it's going to do that, that's going to be awesome. I mean, no more tire issues. And also, Tesla and Hand Summon is going to come out to anyone who purchased Autopilot in the next couple of weeks. And on top of that, to all Tesla vehicles, we have a whole new set of Atari games with a whole new set of the Atari game layout, so it's easier to switch in between games. And lastly, this is kind of very cool, a little bit more in the future, maybe one to two to five years down the road, but Elon Musk said that there's gonna be free Wi-Fi at every single Tesla supercharger station for the capability for video playback on the huge Model 3 s and x display so you could be watching some netflix episodes while you're charging up or maybe some of my videos on youtube and maybe this got me thinking what is this wi-fi gonna be maybe the spacex starlink wi-fi that's rumored to come out very soon that is gonna happen from like satellites from space and that's gonna send down those Wi-Fi waves to get all of us absorbed even in those remote areas but this is not out yet this is just a rumored feature and this is just all these software features just keep them coming. and now coming out of this little island in Florida out of Cape Canaveral we have the SpaceX Falcon Heavy launching tomorrow for the second ever time to do some further testing on the most powerful rocket by a factor of two and fun fact the side boosters are still going to try to land on that little ship out in the middle of the ocean and they're also the two out of the three are still going to land on that same Cape Canaveral platform and also another fun fact is that this second version of the Falcon Heavy is 10% more powerful with even better thrust power. And did I even mention to all that that this whole launch is tomorrow, Wednesday, April 10th? So if you're not watching this video the day it comes out or the day after it comes out, sorry, you could just search it up online, the whole launch. But the Falcon Heavy is gonna try the attempt to. Last time, two out of the three boosters landed correctly. We'll see if we get three out of three this time. And if that was enough SpaceX news for you, Starship, which is the whole planned rocket that's gonna get us to Mars, is kinda in the early stages with only the engines being tested called Star Hopper. And this little test called a hop test or this super mini mini launch of these engines. And what this is, is like I already said, but this is the early prototype engines of the Starship. And what it is, is that it's the engines tied and tethered to the ground. So it just kind of tests to see if the engines work at all. And yes, it was a success according to Elon Musk. And it shows that we are getting ever closer to that Mars deadline and we're going to the moon. No, we're not going to the moon. We're going to Mars, baby, Mars. And I know this was over a month ago, but in the Tesla Model Y unveil event, Tesla actually put in a little teaser for us for the Tesla pickup truck. What we got was this photo right here. Yeah, we don't see much from that photo. It's very vague, but what we do see is some possible designs to draw from that photo. So we have possible design number one, possible design number two, and possible design number three. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what the Tesla pickup truck is going to be in the comic section below. And someone on Twitter the other day tried to take a shot at Elon Musk optimism for the pickup truck. This guy said a Chevy Ram owner or whatever, a Dodge Ram owner said, you would still be physically fatigued if you tried to haul 12,000 pounds of steel beams like I do every day with my Dodge Ram 2019 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And Elon responds to that, like 12,000 pounds? How puny are you trying to build children's toys? Seriously, come on, my Tesla pickup truck could do like 100,000 pounds. But seriously, I am so excited for the Tesla pickup and what is going to possibly look like. It's gonna probably look like a lot like the Semi, but still, I'm so excited for it. 
And something that I'm not so excited for that Tesla is gonna come out with, and yes, it's a hardware product, and this is the Tesla Kilo, which I can't drink because I'm not 21 years old yet, wink, wink. But Tesla Kilo is the unique, exclusive Tesla tequila that's supposedly gonna come out sometime this year because someone reminded Elon Musk on Twitter was like, oh, that's right, you still have that idea, and Elon Musk was like, oh, yeah, the little idea in the back of my mind. Yeah, we still have to do that. And what else is going to come out later this year? And that's the China Gigafactory 3, or the factory in mainland Shanghai, China. And supposedly, just three months ago, it was a pile of dirt. And now, all of a sudden, it has all these steel and concrete beams, and it's building the baseline of this physical structure by the photo right here. And by all these videos, you can see that they're starting to build this factory, like actually. And supposedly in the Model Y event that Elon Musk said that this factory was going to be completely finished by the end of this year, which I will love to see. And Elon Musk just said on Twitter that in a couple of months, they're going to start inputting the factory assembly line for the Model 3 into this factory because China loves those EVs and the Model 3 is going to be a number one hit there. And speaking globally on where else EVs are are a number one hit and that is absolutely a number one hit in Norway because actually in the month of March I am surprised at this EV sales surpassed ice car sales with a overall market share of 58% so every other car purchased in Norway was an electric car that is awesome can someone just take me on a flight to Norway, cause I would love to live there and see all these electric cars everywhere. Like, oh, electric car, electric car, electric car, baby, yeah, yeah. And the last headline that we have for you today on this Tesla Tuesday is the brand new sales and delivery numbers for all the Tesla sexy lineup vehicles were just a sex lineup now. And the Model 3 got a total of 62,950 built in the factory while well, only 50,900 were delivered and that's because of all these overseas deliveries you kind of have to ship it on this huge boat and wait like a couple weeks for it to ship all the way to China and Europe they still produced 63,000 and also getting to the Model S and X they were combined 12,000 which is kind of weak and kind of weak overall but still tesla is just impacting that electric car market in general they kind of have a majority stake in that but in general they're pushing all these car companies to go electric i mean just look at that audi e-tron commercial that we saw earlier in this video and getting to our pictures or picture of the week here we have the wonderful renewable energy future i kind of talked about this in the last week's tesla tuesday but here we have the official photos of the Tesla Semi delivering some Model 3s directly to people's houses. We have some enjoyable faces right here. How could you not love the Tesla Semi delivering some Model 3s? That's just like the perfect combination right there. And getting to the Bloomberg Model 3 tracker, boy, do we have some news for you. In this little update, we have 226,517 total cars, and we have 5,541 cars or Model 3s Per week and this is interesting because if you look Pat, at the past weeks on Tesla Tuesday this number uh, per week has been at 6,000 around a hundred but all of a sudden it dropped 600 well this is not a part of Tesla just dropping all of a sudden this is a part of the whole algorithm change in the Bloomberg Model 3 tracker because in case you didn't know the Model 3 tracker kind of way overestimated quarter one production they estimated it at, at 80,000 well I just said Tesla only produced 60,000 which is kind of over 30 percent so Bloomberg has just shifted the algorithm and it's gonna try to aim it a little bit better for quarter two because this whole algorithm got messed up with all of these overseas deliveries but that makes sense, I'm gonna give him a break there and we'll see how it does quarter two deliveries with the Bloomberg tracker and the actual Tesla sales. But that is all we have for today. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Three, two, one. Ah, peep the brand new Apple Watch with this brand new watch pad, look at that. My friend gave this to me today. But seriously, did you see that Avengers Endgame clip? How is that not awesome? 
I like this one. 